YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up the complete set of five Shining Fates mini tins. Now, as you can see on the table here, I actually bought a case, so 10 total of these Shining Fates mini tins. I bought these mini tins as a set of 10 from Collector's Cash for $180. Now, unfortunately, I've had zero luck trying to find Shining Fates in retail stores. MSRP wise, these mini tins, which only include two packs, are $8.99 a piece. I essentially had to pay $20 per mini tin, which is just crazy, but it is a reflection of the current environment that we're living in and the demand and the short supply of Pokemon cards out there. So I'll rip into this mini tin. Of course, the card I'm hoping for most would be my favorite Pokemon in Charizard. There is a shiny Charizard VMAX available in this set. I've actually pulled one as part of a break. So I noticed that there was a rip in the plastic here. So I'll just try and go like this. As you can tell, there I believe are coins in each mini tin. So there is the little case of mini tins. There are all 10. So I'll just open up. Let's go with the left stack. I'm assuming that will be the correct five. There should be one of each mini tin on each side, I would think. I have my box cutter handy. So let's see if that is one of each. And I believe each one, no. It is not one of each. So I'll have to open up all the other ones. Bear with me here. All righty. So let's see. There's another one. Looks like Celebi we need. Kyogre, is there five? So one, two, three, four, and five. So there would be the five. This is one of the products from Shining Face that I was least interested in, but of course I had to pay essentially the most just to get these into my collection. So if you flip one over, you can see what you get on the inside. Two Shining Face booster packs, a metallic coin, and then a, an art card. If you can see that on camera a little bit. So I'll just open up each one of these individually. But first, before I do that, I'll open up the Manaphy one first. I'll head over to the price guide on TCG Player. So this is a special expansion. You cannot buy these packs individually or as a booster box. You have to buy special products like these. So on TCG Player, their price guide, the Shiny Charizard VMAX is worth $376. There's a huge drop off after that. Suicune is the second most valuable Shiny Vault subset card. In the set at $52, what I like about this set as opposed to Hidden Face is that there is some value in the base part of Shining Face. So there are 195 total cards in this set, 73 in the main portion. One of eight full art trainers that I would love to pull would be the Skyla Full Art, $42 right now it is worth. And actually, I think I pulled all seven of the other full art trainer cards, just have not struck gold on the Skyla. All right, so open one. Let's see, I don't know what the best way to really get this open would be. There we go. Just use my box cutter a little bit on the plastic wrap. They are good looking tins. I mean, there's not a great way to display them. You can sort of stand them up like that and they will stand, but they tip over very easy. Now it just flips open like that. There's the Pokemon coin, Hydreigon on there, and then Manaphy, and then you can actually put all five of these together, I believe. This is a little bit different than the other mini tins out there. And then of course the packs are just stuffed in these mini tins. I don't know if they ever get damaged or anything. We will find out when I get done opening these. So, two packs here. The Shiny Dragapult and then the Shiny Toxtricity, both VMAX. Hoping for what? 10 packs will be opened up in this video. Hoping for three Shiny Vault subset cards. 
I have now with this video opened up all of the different Shining Fates products out there. Alrighty, so pack number one starts with a coughing. Good card for a pandemic like we're in. Shinx, Spinrack, Buizel, Kufant, Lightning type energy, Thwacky, Ball Guy. Would love to pull this card as a full art. Just a funny looking card. Rusted Sword, Reverse Hall of a Chinchino. So a good start to the opening. This card's ability. Very similar to Zoroark GX back in the day. You must discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability once during your turn. You may draw two cards. And the final card would be a Greedent V. So eight different Pokemon V in the main part of this expansion. What a great pack to start this video off. Now a card that I have pulled plenty of would be Toxtricity, VMAX, and V. A couple of cards I wouldn't mind pulling from the Shiny Vault subset would be the black and gold colored Eternatus and Eternatus VMAX. Grookey starts this one, second pack in Mini Tin 1. Nicket, Choodle, Morpeko, Eevee, Fighting Type Energy, Team Yell Tall, not a bad card, T Rusted Shield, Cramorant, Eveltal would be the reverse hollow. That snuck up on me a little bit. One of three amazing rares in this set. Eveltal and then the other two would be Reshiram and Kyogre. Final card would be a more Paco VMAX. Now only if I could repeat these types of pulls in every single mini tin. I will save those other five mini tins for a future opening or maybe just save them as well. All right, so next up, and I'll just summarize all of my pulls from the 10 total packs at the end. Zarud on this one. Now let's see if I can dig in there. I guess there is sort of an indentation where the tin goes together so I can put my box cutter through there. Let's see. So show the Zerud, the same Pokemon coin, Zerud there, and then the two booster packs. It is so fun though, opening products that have something in that reverse hollow slot. Way back in the day, many years ago on YouTube when I opened up the E-series of sets, it was so cool being able to pull a rare reverse hollow, a rare hollow, and I believe a crystal type Pokemon card in the same pack. Of course, those E series of sets, so hard to find nowadays. And even the rare hollow cards are worth quite a bit. Grookey starts this one, pack three Kufant, Snom, Yanma, Gossifleur, Water type Energy, Rusted Sword, Ball Guy. Tropius, Reverse all of a Horsey, just a common. Rare would be a Professor's Research. A very good supporter card, but easily the worst pack of the opening so far. And I hope that everyone watching this video has been able to find some Shining Fates for reasonable prices. I know the Pokemon Company International has said multiple times they are going to keep printing to keep up with demand but it is hard to do that with four new sets every single year for main sets plus these special expansions and even a set like battle styles which was supposed to be for competitive players for the most part sold out pretty much immediately and still is hard to find horsey starts this one eevee choodle morpeko yanma Metal type energy, ball guy, Dartrix, rusted sword, reverse all of a Grookey, a common, rare here, would be another good supporter card in a boss's orders. This is Lysander. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So that was a pretty terrible tin overall when it comes to being a collector. Now a competitive player, both of those supporter cards very good. Here is Kyogre, probably my favorite mini tin of the five available. Now I have opened 
lots of mini tins in the past and even mini tins and that reminds me of something like the pokeball tins that were released those are just selling out everywhere as well which doesn't make much sense to me that tells me that most people that are buying the sealed products have no clue what they're doing they just think that they can flip them for profit no matter the product same coin in this one in hydrogen Corviknight and Toxtricity, the two Pokemon on the cover artworks of the packs. There we go. How about something good here? I'm due for a Shiny Vault subset card. Wouldn't mind a Full Art Trainer either. I guess technically if I was shut out from every single remaining pack, those first two packs really made up for it. Alright, four and then two. Horsey starts this one, Cacnea, Morpeko, Choodle, Gossifleur, Psychic Type Energy, Rusted Sword, Rotom, Dartrix, Reverse Solo of a Copperaja. Now this is a Shiny Vault subset card I don't believe that I've pulled in the past. Very cool looking. Like I've mentioned in the past, I prefer the shiny Pokemon that look as different as possible in color than their normal form. So not bad right here. Second shiny Vault subset card of the opening and then a Zarud as the rare. All right, pulls are starting to heat up a little bit now. Corviknight on this one. I have pulled a shiny Corviknight from a pack before. White colored code cards in each and every pack, which I do prefer. That way you don't know what's going to be in the rare spot in the pack. Coughing starts this one. Buizel. Trap Inch. Rowlet. Nicket. Metal type energy. Cramorant. I do prefer the tins as well as the premium collection boxes for Shining Face. Rotom. Tropius. Reverse all of an Eldegoss. This one would be an uncommon. Final card would be a Professor's Research. Of course, the Tins, Eldegoss, Bolton, and Cramorant all available as Shiny V Black Star promo. So that's why I like the tin so well. And then, of course, the Premium Collection boxes with Crobat and then Dragapult. Another reason that I like those two products. I actually had decent success finding the premium collections. Collector's Cash actually sent me two of those complimentary after I had purchased two for well above MSRP. Celebi on this one. So there's the Charizard pack, but I can show the Celebi. Set that one aside. The same Pokemon coin again. Two packs, Dragapult and Charizard. I would absolutely lose if I pulled a Charizard out. I know in a break that I did, very early on I pulled the Charizard. I believe it was Colin Renfro that won that break. And of course, if I do have any breaks going on, or breaks that are open for entry, I'll let everyone know in the live chat portion of this video. Make sure if you have not already to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Alrighty, so this pack starts with Buizel, Trap Inch, Rowlet, Nicket, Shinx, Fighting Type Energy, Gym Trainer, Tropius, Flacky, Reverse Solo of a Galarian Farfetched. Here's another Shiny Vault subset card that I don't believe I've pulled from a pack. There are 122 cards in the Shiny Vault subset, so lots to collect. Would love to actually complete the entire Shiny Vault subset. Final card would be a Gym Trainer Full Art. So this is easily the best pack so far. So a Gym Trainer Full Art, not bad right there. Draw two cards. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw two more cards. So it's more of a collectible full art trainer as opposed to a competitive one but easily the best pack so far all righty charizard v max on this one 
So let's see what happens. One more mini tin to open up. Coughing starts the pack. Yanma. Trapinch. Grookey. Shinx. Lightning type energy. Thwacky. Cramorant. Ball guy. Reverse solo of a Gossifleur, a common. Rare here would be a Professor's Research. That is something I like with special expansions. If you're trying to build a competitive deck, some of the supporters out there for main sets, like a Professor's Research, is three or four dollars per card. But with these special expansions, those better supporter cards are a little bit easier to pull, making the prices a little bit cheaper, less than a dollar per card. But still, if you are looking to build a competitive deck in normal times, not when we're in a pandemic, it is a couple hundred dollars to actually get a very competitive deck. So final mini tin here, Reshiram on it. Same Pokemon coin. Here's a look at the back and then the front of the Reshiram. And the two packs here, Corviknight and Toxtricity hoping to end this opening with a bang some last pack magic wish me the best of luck in the live chat and i would like to thank all of those who are watching as i premiere this video started off here with the toxtricity pack all it takes is that one pack to pull that charizard and as a collector what i like most is that feeling you get when you pull the one card you've really been hoping for. I guess recently I've had some luck with Charizard, the Burning Shadows Charizard GX Rainbow Rare. I could not believe my luck pulling that. It had been a very long search for it. Alrighty, so second to last pack starts with Kufant, Cacnea, Gossifleur, Nicket, Trapinch, Darkness type energy, Rusted Shield, Cramorant, Dartrix, Reverse Solo of a Dragapult. There we go. I've done very well with the Shiny Vault subset cards in this video. And the final card would be a Rare Hollow. First, I believe, Rare Hollow of the opening in Indeedy. On to the last pack, and I'll summarize my pulls after this one. Very happy with them. Corviknight on the final pack. Let's see what happens. What I'm actually going to do, because sometimes I can feel if there's any texture. So four and then two, just like that. That's what Carla likes to do in our videos so she doesn't damage the cards and because she has trouble keeping the cards in line. Morpeko starts the final pack. Rowlet, Horsey, Snom, Spinrack, Grass type energy, Team Yell Towel, Floatzel, and then a Ball Guy. I'll show the rare first just in case that is a Shiny Vault subset card in the reverse solo spot. Rare would be another Professor's Research. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. Final card. Could it be that Charizard? See, and I have a very hard time not brushing my finger across that card to see if there's texture. It would be a Grim Snarl V. What an amazing way to end this mini tin opening. That's a dab. That's an elbow cough in the live chat. What a great way to end this video. Was not expecting this ending at all. So one of nine different Shiny Vault Pokemon V cards. I have not pulled this card before. So lots of cards to summarize here. Bear with me, and I will be right back with the best poll. So happy with the polls from these 10 total Shining Phase Booster Packs. So here are all the better cards from the main part of the expansion, a Rare Hollow and Indeedee, Pokemon V and Greedent, an Amazing Rare and Eveltal, a VMAX in Morpeko, and then easily the best poll, the Gym Trainer Full Art. Now on to the cards that you're really hoping to see, the shiny Pokemon. So essentially, one and two packs gave me a shiny Volt subset card. Was able to pull 
four of the baby shinies, so the non-V or V-Max, Copperaja, Dragapult, Galarian Farfetch'd, and then Sinchino. And easily my favorite pull, the final card in the final pack would be the Grim Snarl V. So what a great opening overall. Not expecting too much from those other five mini tins that I left sealed, but who knows, maybe this just was a great case of mini tins overall. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. And then if you would like to support my channel even more, lots of ways to do that. And you can find all those ways in the description of this video, including entering into some of my Pokemon breaks. And I'll let you know in the live chat if I have any going on. Purchasing signature cards of mine off of eBay, or I may be listing some of my personal collection on there. And then other things like donating through the live chat or becoming a patron of mine on Patreon. So thank you everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.